so a pretty bitch way. Pretty bitch way. Nah, Danielle Ice Cream Cone and the Starbucks looking ass girl really disrespected my guy Soldier Boy by making this song. Seriously though, what in the kids' bop is this? Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's Ivan Steph, and you guys, unfortunately it is yet again that time of year again, Danielle Cohn has released another song. But this time it isn't pop, it isn't reggae, and it isn't R&B. This time it's hip hop. Bruh. Yeah, you heard that right, Danielle Cohn swearing. 2020 has seriously been a crazy year. The NBA was canceled, the NHL was canceled, toilet paper just flat out disappeared across every store, and the Karens don't even get me started. Oh my god, we're not wrecking it! Oh, there's so many berries out here! <laughs> but you know the world is really going downhill when on top of all of this, you got Danielle Cohn swearing and thinking that she's an actual gang member. Yeah, I'm convinced that this world is truly coming to an end. Anyway, so there's this TikToker named Lexi Drew and she recently made a music video to her song Pretty Bitch Wave which features the infamous Danielle Cohn. And my videos on Danielle Cohn's music have done really good in the past and you guys keep asking me to make more videos on her so here it is. For today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to the song, roasting it, and just having a good laugh. But just before we get into this, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, or else this song that we're about to listen to will be played at your funeral. But anyways, as always, let's roll the clip. You know what? This song might not actually be as bad as I predicted it to be. The song hasn't even started yet, but the visuals are fire. I dig the flamingo and I rate Lexi's custom shoes. They're nice. All right, so let's listen to the song and find out if I was right. It's like a breath of fresh air. I don't got no combo for these bitches. I be so unbothered by these bitches. So a pretty bitch way. Pretty bitch way. Okay, yeah, I predicted right. Seriously though, when did Danielle Cohn start swearing? Like, I couldn't care less if she swears. She's only a few years younger than me, and when I was her age, I was swearing. But keep in mind that it was only a few years ago that she was making music like this. But now she, and I quote, has no convo for these bitches and gives them a pretty bitch wave, whatever that means. Okay, but on a real note though, I'm smelling a bit of plagiarism here. Do y'all know that song Pretty Boy Swag by Soldier Boy? Well, if not, it was a song that was released about 10 years ago. So I want you to listen again to Danielle's line. So a pretty bitch way, pretty bitch way, pretty bitch way. Okay, now tell me that it doesn't sound exactly like the chorus from Soldier Boy's song. Pretty boy sway. Oh damn, somebody called the plagiarism police. Not only are the lyrics pretty much the same, but Danielle even copied his flow. This is pretty much like a fifth grader saying, Yeah, you can copy my essay, but just change up a few words so the teacher doesn't find out. First she copies Ashanti's song, Foolish. And now she copies Soulja Boy's song, Pretty Boy Swag. Pretty Boy Swag. I mean, what's next? She copies I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. Okay, this Lexi Drew girl, I mean, she's actually a decent rapper. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that she's good, but if I was to call her awful, I'd be lying to myself. She has speed, which shows potential. Like, I'll give her that one, she's spitting those bars faster than James Charles level. This girl makes a song Rap God look like it was made by a snail. But there's a few problems, one of them being, I have no idea what she's saying. Like, I played that clip back five times and I still don't understand. Okay, before we get back into listening to the song, I just gotta ask, what was that voice crack? You talking shit? You talking shit? You talking shit? Lexi just said, and I quote, you talking shit. But she literally just sounded like she was in the middle of taking a shit as she was saying that. Hey, I'm a bother, I just slaughter, you're my daughter. Uh? Check your color, wanna be a bossy nutter. 
Okay, no, seriously though, this girl's lyric game is weak. I'm unbothered, I just slaughter, you're my daughter. W what does that even mean? I... Oh God. You don't need to be at an Albert Einstein genius level when you're writing lyrics, but at least make some uniqueness. I hope this Starbucks looking ass girl knows that putting random words together and putting on that fake accent doesn't make you a rapper. So you guys heard how she sounds like in her music, but now I want you to hear her voice when she's vlogging. What's up guys, it's Lexi and, and Lily. Lily. <laughs> I'm back with another video and we're gonna vlog. I haven't vlogged in so long. That was her birthday vlog from about two years ago and she sounds like your basic, basic white girl. And would you look at that, she's even at Starbucks. As I was saying, her voice is so extra. I'm on to the wave, I can't see your face. And we're gonna vlog, I haven't vlogged in so long. Like, I, that doesn't even sound like the same person. Her rapping and vlogging doesn't even sound like the same person. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that white people aren't allowed to rap because there's many great rappers Rappers such as Eminem, Jack Harlow, NF, Post Malone, like I could keep going. But Lexi Drew, I mean, just look at the girl. She's trying so hard to be someone that she's clearly not. She probably listened to Iggy Azalea for the first time and was like, hey, if she can do it, I can do it too. But I'm, I'm sorry, money doesn't mean you're gonna be a successful rapper. So a pretty bitch way, pretty bitch. Okay, can someone please tell me when the real song is coming out? Because I'm watching this Bart Baker parody looking ass version of it and it's just not it. I hope these girls really didn't think that they were actually doing something good when they were filming this. Because honestly, the both of them are gonna look back on this music video in a few years and be like, What on earth was I doing? This music video literally looks like a product of a high school dropout. Y'all know those kids in school who said that they're gonna drop out and become a professional rapper? Yeah, well, these are those kids. Pina colada, color leather inside the bin. Pretty girl, big hair, big vibes. What? What? Wow. No, 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 no. Like, I am actually getting negative vibes from watching this video. I am literally getting secondhand embarrassment. That is like, no, we get it, okay? She's a pretty rich girl walking down the street, flexing mommy and daddy's money, thinking that she's the next biggest rapper. Honestly, she's pretty much a teenage version of Lil Tay. And why is this girl talking about pina colada? She's literally 16. Pina colada, color leather inside the bin. Like, girl, stay in your own lane and stick to your Kool-Aid. God damn. What you mad? Cause you sticking to the rules. Shit I learned was not in school. You do not know. Fake smiles like a hollow. Do anything for a follow. But you ain't gonna fuck up my vibe. No. What the f was that? Huh? What the f? I am like getting. No, I. Oh man. All right, first things first. I apologize because I haven't been too up to date with the new TikTok dances. But that girl literally looks like she went through a full-on exorcism. Actually, she kind of looks like a marionette. You know, like one of those string puppets. I, I hope this girl's back's okay. I be so Wow, I'm proud of them for including some diversity in this music video. They even included a famous black TikToker. So a pretty bitch wave, pretty bitch wave, pretty bitch wave. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Because I am done reacting to this. Am I even allowed to call a hip hop song or would that be offensive to the entire genre itself? Okay, I wanna go through some of the comments that people left on this music video because they're hilarious. They really thought they were the next Nicki Minaj. That's three minutes and eight seconds I won't get back. This song is gas without the G. Rich suburban white girls trying to be black and hood. This shit is god awful. Wrong Danielle, Lexi must have got the names mixed up. Ouch, people are really not having it with this music video. Okay, so at the time I'm recording my video, Lexi and Danielle's music video is at 1,600 likes. So if my video could pass their video in likes, that would be absolutely hilarious. If my video passes theirs in likes, I will literally do whatever. Like, I will pierce both my ears, I will even make a diss track on the both of them. Anyways, that's officially gonna do it for my video. I really hope that you enjoyed and did have a few good laughs. But anyways, until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. Is this what Kids Bought Premium looks like? Like, oh my God.